And despite a nationwide effort to stop opioid abuse, overdose deaths continue to rise with more than 100,000 annually. CBS 4's Michael George spoke to addiction specialists and people going through recovery to talk about new approaches to ending this crisis. I'm trying something. Stephen Bell's struggle with addiction started when he was prescribed OxyContin after a surgery. When he was introduced to fentanyl, he nearly lost his life. All he takes a very little bit to, to kill you, you know, and uh, I've experienced overdoses myself with it because it's very strong. Stephen is alive thanks to the overdose reversing medication Narcan, also known as naloxone. He's now in treatment at the Camelot Substance Abuse Program on Staten Island. I didn't know how to stop, so I, had, I definitely had to go away to treatment to have somebody to help me stop. Fentanyl is everywhere in everything. Camelot CEO Carl Farron says he's seeing the crisis get worse, not better. The CDC says 107,000 Americans died of overdoses in 2021, up 15% from the year before. And two-thirds of those deaths are linked to fentanyl and similar synthetic opioids. More communities are trying a new approach, making Narcan available in public places, like a free vending machine at this church in Austin. And last month, the LA Unified School District gave every middle and high school Narcan after seven student overdoses in a month, including 15-year-old Melanie Ramos. Offering that is definitely a plus. It's a very simple tool, I think, to assist on the streets, on the ground level. Farron also says there's a desperate need for more substance abuse counselors and social workers. There's just not enough to go around to really serve the population. It's been underfunded, underpaid. A national commitment needed. It definitely needs to be addressed more and looked at more, definitely, yeah. To stop a growing epidemic. Michael George, CBS News, Staten Island. Now anyone can learn how to use Narcan to stop an overdose for free. There's a training video posted on the CDC web website.